Hey YouTube, Ray here again, smoking John Cotton's Sweet English. This is an English aromatic, uh, made of Burley, Virginia, Black Cavendish, and Latakia. <sighs> well, before I continue, let's get into it. What am I tasting? Uh, I'm tasting a Sweet English. Now I'm tasting an aromatic with Latakia in it, an English aromatic. That's what I'm tasting. It's a sweet blend. The Latakia is there. It's not um, very smoky. Um, it's not very present, but it's adding strength to the otherwise boring, plain, aromatic. Mm. Now, as you guys know, I don't have a lot of luck <laughs> with John Cotton. The John Cotton line has not been good to me. Uh, but this one... You know, I would say this one is about the best that I've tried from John Cotton. Is it great? In my opinion, no, it's not. And only because, uh, and mind you, this is just my opinion, by the way. Uh, I'm not saying that, you know, um, I'm an authority on what I'm about to say in the least bit. It's just what I believe. But, and this is nothing, not the same thing bad about this blend or this line. Because, the, you know, there's other... Uh, Lines and there's other brand names who have done the same, I believe. But I, I believe the um, the English aromatic recipe has become a standard for a lot of uh, a lot of companies, and that's because you know it's a very easy you know mixture to make. You, you grab one of your arom aromatics that probably aren't selling very well, and you add Latakia to it, and there you go. You put it in a different packaging and you sell it. Not that I'm saying that John Cotton did that. Or this line did it. I'm not saying that. Um, but I have found that every single other English aromatic that I've tried as of late, they all taste the same. You know, it's just a, otherwise just a caramely aromatic. You know, it's just a plain old maple-y, caramely arom aromatic. You just add Latakia to it. And they all seem to have the same taste. And John Cotton, unfortunately, Sweet English has that taste. It's just a, um, it's you know, a very sweet blend would you know if you take the Latakia away it would just be a caramely mapley aromatic but you know you add Latakia and you make it a um, sweet English um, and, and you know not that that's a bad thing but you know it just takes away from it takes the wow factor completely out it's like I, you know I'm not impressed um, I like it Am I going to buy it again? No. Even though I do like it a lot, I'm not going to buy it again. Why? Because, you know, I, there's tons of other English aromatics out there that are just the same. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the only one that I still know that is just amazing is uh, Shortcut to Mushrooms. That's the only one that has always been different to me. It's always tasted different. different and, you know, it's, it's my all-time favorite blend. You know, that is my number one favorite blend. And, you know, I keep it, you know, I keep at least two pounds of it all the time. That's how I smoke. However, John Cotton has sweet English. And it's, um, you know, it's a Burley, Virginia, and Cat Black Cavendish mix. Just, in, just a regular aromatic. Um, I can't say anything great about it. I can't say anything bad about it, though. And like I said, you know, out of all the John Cottons that have failed me, <laughs> my own personal opinion, um, this is the best one. But unfortunately, you know, it just has that basic formula for making an English aromatic that I taste over and over. Uh, there's just nothing different here. Um, but, you know, if you like the uh, John Cotton line and you like English aromatics definitely give this a try I think you'll like it a lot alright compadres comadres well that's it for me as always thank you for watching if you still are bye bye